all right hello hello welcome to heal and ascend to Rome. so i hope everyone is doing well today is going to be a general love reading so let's find out what's going on with you and the person on your mind if you guys want to book something personal i do have a 15 dollars off promo so this promo is one of the limited time or sorry limited spaces so once it fills up i'm stopping the promo um so the information for that will be down below in the description box in addition, I do have online courses and guided meditations, but all of that information is on my website or down below, okay? But let's just jump in. I don't like long intros. <laughs> so let's see. What is going on here? Okay, let's see. What's going on with you and the person on your mind? So the current status, what is going on? What is going on with these two? Nine of Pentacles in reverse, okay? Someone is heavily attached here. Is this you or is this your person? We have someone who's heavily attached to the other. Why is this going to be? It's going to be both of you guys, actually. This is what's keeping it stagnant, okay? So there's a connection between you and someone else, the person on your mind. Um, and it hasn't been going anywhere or it's been feeling like it's stuck, it's not moving, it's very slow. Why? Because there's too much attachment. Okay, so what I mean by that is there's too much, it's almost like the desire for it is too strong that it's actually repelling the energies. Okay. So let's see, what's their current energy towards you? Five of Swords. What are they lying to you about? Seven of Pentacles. Hmm. I feel like they're making you wait. I feel like this person has been taking a very long time, but the reason why they're taking a long time isn't what they told you. So they might've said it's something else, but it's not the truth. What is the five of swords about? The chair, yeah. They've been deliberately slowing this down or trying to keep it slowed down. And they might've told you it was for one reason, but I feel like that's not actually the case. I'm just trying to figure out what is the actual reason why they're doing this. The star in reverse. This person probably still needs to heal from something. This could be related to you or this could be related to their past. I feel like they haven't healed. We have Aquarius energy here. Cancer. Okay. Um, this five of swords feels like they haven't been honest with you, but I don't see it as a very... I'm not seeing it as something super deceptive. I'm just getting that they haven't been super upfront with you. Like this person hasn't told you oh, what. Oh, sorry guys. They haven't been super upfront with you about why they've been taking so long, like why they haven't been moving towards you or why they haven't been moving things faster. Cause I do feel like that's what I was saying. This situation has been slow moving. I do think the overall reason is because there's too much attachment to it. So maybe you're, you guys are super attached to this outcome. And so how that's manifesting is that this person is actually deliberately taking a long time or being really slow to move towards you. So they might've told you some reason as to why, Whatever they told you isn't actually the truth. It seems that the reason why is because either they haven't healed from something or they're not super optimistic about love. So they're not super, it's almost like they're assuming that things are going to go badly. And I feel like this has to do with their past. There's like a pessimistic view on love or moving the connection forward. Okay. So what's your energy towards them? Yeah. So you guys are really questioning this right now. Seven of Wands in reverse. You're questioning. You're having an internal conflict. Eight of Pentacles. I do feel like you still want to work on things, but you're questioning whether or not you should. Exactly. 100%. Two of Swords. You don't know. Okay? You're, you're unsure. It's like, should I work on this? Should I try? Should I keep trying at this or should I not? What's the challenge here between these two? What's the challenge? The hermit. I do feel like both of you guys have taken a step back or you've kind of retreated. Okay, maybe neither of you are saying anything. I'm seeing this retreating energy. Okay, I do think though that both of you are actually quite attached to each other, but it's not, it's like the situation isn't moving forward. Okay, let's see what their intentions are. So your person's intentions. Okay, I'm seeing Virgo energy here as well. 
okay so I, so far signs and it doesn't really matter but I'm just gonna call them out because some people like them some people don't so we have Aquarius we have cancer and we have Virgo so far okay so let's see their intentions yeah they don't know you guys are kind of on I wouldn't say you're on the same page but I feel like you you're uncertain about what to do their intentions are two of Pentacles so they're up in the air why is this here the Queen of Wands reverse in the world this person is trying to close out a cycle of jealousy, okay? They have um, they have problems with jealousy. Maybe that's what they're healing from. Is there some sort of like wound that maybe caused them to become very jealous or very possessive? And I feel like they need to close this out. It's like they need to heal this. Maybe this is what they need to heal. It's something related to jealousy, okay? So in terms of their intentions, they're just up in the air right now about it. They're still trying to figure that out. So if you're getting mixed signals from this person, that's probably why. Okay, you may also be giving off mixed signals though as well. So let's see, what are your intentions? What are your intentions? Page of Swords, so you're watching this person. The Moon. You guys are, I don't want to say you're hiding, but I almost feel like you guys are kind of trying to hide your true intentions. I don't even know what they are. But I do feel like your intentions are just to kind of observe this person right now, see what they do, or some of you guys are actually watching them. So take it how it resonates, or it could be both. But it's almost like you're just kind of waiting to see what they do, or you're just observing their energy. But with the moon, you guys are coming through as kind of mysterious, or you're not really wanting to reveal yourself at this point. Okay, so what's the likely outcome here? The truth will come out. Remember how I was saying before with the Five of Swords that this person wasn't fully honest? I don't get it as a bad, like I'm not getting it as like a cheating thing or anything bad. It's more just they weren't upfront with you about why they were taking so long, okay? I feel like that truth is gonna come out. Why is the Ace of Swords here? The Eight of Cups. Hmm, let's get one more. Oh, so they're gonna tell, okay, if, okay, I'm getting a couple messages here. If, okay, I'm getting one message. More than likely this is the case. So if it's not the case, then this may not be your reading. What I'm getting is that this person in the past, I don't know if this was the recent past or this was far back, they walked away from you, okay? They might not have told you why. I feel like they're gonna tell you. So what's gonna come to the, what's gonna come to the surface here? What's, what's gonna come out? Ace of Swords, the truth is going to be that they're gonna tell you why they walked away in the past. They're going to communicate this to you. Page of Wands, Eight of Cups. So again, I don't know if this was recently or in the past. Okay, so I do feel like there's going to be some sort of honest communication with this person. And maybe that's why I wasn't getting a clear answer with this Five of Swords, because I feel like for some of you guys, it's going to be different. Whatever their answer is, is going to be different because this is a general reading. Um, I do think it has something to do with the fact that they haven't healed, though, from something, okay? So what do my viewers need to know about this person? What do my viewers need to know about this person they're dealing with? The Four of Cups. Clarify. The Ten of Swords. Hmm. Oh, what you guys don't know about this person is that they were badly hurt. Um, this person was really rejected in the past, so I don't know if this was in their childhood or in a relationship. I feel like this person was rejected big time or they have a major fear of rejection because of a past hurt where they were really betrayed. Okay, we have the Ten of Swords. And if you notice, this person is on their back, extremely hurt. So maybe this is something you don't know about this person. Maybe you do, but I'm getting the sense that either they have a fear of rejection or this person has been very badly rejected. And because of that, they're carrying a lot of pain. Ten of Swords. And that's what you need to know about this person. So let's see if this is a safe connection for you. Is this, That's something I want to start th like throwing into the readings is, is this safe or is this not safe for you guys, right? Because you kind of want to know that if you're going to put energy into a person. Is this safe for you or not? We have the High Priestess Reverse, the Eight of Pentacles in Reverse. Hmm. 
for some of you, I'm kind of getting it's not safe for you right now. The reason being is because there are secrets being kept from you, okay? High Priestess Reverse, Eight of Pentacles in Reverse. I feel like someone or maybe both of you guys still need to work on yourselves, like your internal environment. Eight of Pentacles in Reverse. I always see this as working towards healing yourself internally. Um, I'm kind of getting a knot right now. It may not be the safest connection to approach right now because there are things being hidden. However, I do think that's what's coming to the surface, though. I feel like in the near future, what's coming to the surface is this truth. Now, I don't know if you're going to like what this truth is, though. It may, be, it may be positive. Maybe. It may be not, though. So I'm not exactly sure. What I'm kind of getting is that right now, if this person continues to keep things from you, it's not safe, okay? If they do bring things to light, then whatever they tell you will indicate whether or not it's good for you. Okay, let's take a look how this person is feeling. Okay. How do they currently feel? Yeah, vulnerable, defenseless, unprotected, helpless. So there's something about you that causes this person to feel very vulnerable. Okay, you may activate some old wounds for this person. So let's clarify. Why is vulnerable here? The Knight of Swords in Reverse, okay? So either they're not communicating with you right now because they feel vulnerable, or in the past they stopped communicating with you because they were feeling vulnerable. Okay, let's see how you guys are feeling. How are my viewers feeling? Afraid, yeah. Again, I think that's why you're kind of, I remember how I was saying before, I don't know if you're hiding, <laughs> but the Page of Swords and the Moon, these are very sneaky energies. Some of you guys are afraid or maybe afraid of getting hurt. Let's see what your fear is about. How you're feeling. Yeah, I feel like you're afraid of either regret. Um, some of you may be afraid to put more effort into this connection and then end up regretting it. Like end up saying, oh, why did I do that? Um, or if you guys have been disappointed by this person in the past, you may be afraid to kind of invest more into the situation. So I think that for most of you, once you find out whatever this truth is, you're going to kind of know whether or not you want to continue with this or not, whatever it is that they tell you. But I do think it's going to be different for everyone, so I can't say. Okay. So what are their messages for you? But this is a lot of the reason why they have been hot and cold with you or why they've been giving you mixed signals, okay? Because their intentions are the two of pentacles. And I do think that this you make this person very vulnerable, so that's one of the main reasons. And especially if they haven't healed, it's like they don't want to face this vulnerability. So maybe instead of having to face the vulnerability, they just kind of shut you out or close you out. I do think there's something about jealousy here that they need to heal from. I do think as well what spirit is saying that you don't know about this person is that they have been betrayed in the past and I feel like there's a lot of pain that they're still dealing with. Okay. So let's see, what's their message for you? We have, I'm battling my addiction. So this could be maybe something else that they're hiding. They have addiction, so we'll clarify that. I'm so grateful for you. We have, I can picture a life with you. And I'm so tired of sabotaging this connection. So they know that they've been sabotaging this because of their past. Okay. Um, also could be because of these addictions. So let's clarify this. Why is this here? Yeah, exactly. A star in reverse again. We have heavy Aquarius energy here. But we have this twice for their energy. All right. So whatever this addiction is, it's not telling me exactly what it is. I'll see if I can get one more clarifier. But whatever it is, they have not healed from it. Star in reverse. They haven't learned. Okay. They're trying to break free of it. Fool. So I don't know if it's it's drugs, alcohol, um, sex, could be addiction to work, whatever it is. They haven't healed, but they're in the process of trying to. So with this fool, this is all about breaking free. This is about starting new. So they're trying to battle these addictions. They can picture a life with you, okay? But they know that they have sabotaged this in the past. Maybe they sabotage it with a third party, okay? Three of Cups. All right, maybe this person got involved with someone else as a way to sabotage this. Only you guys know, okay? Maybe that's why there's a fear here of whether or not you should put in the work. All right, I'm gonna get an advice card for my viewers. 
So let's see, what is the advice for those who are watching? What is the advice? What is the advice for my viewers? We have flexible. Number 19. So let's see what this means for you. In every relationship, it's important to be open to new experiences and learning new things. Letting go of rigidity, 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 okay, <laughs> is what's required right now. You don't always have to be right all the time, do you? It's okay to come to a happy compromise. You can still get your needs met. It's a beautiful day when you meet halfway. The appearance of this card in a reading can also signal that you have met someone new who may not be your type, but who will turn out to be so special that you can easily release your old ideas about what sort of a partner is right for you. Be flexible. You'll be happy you made that choice. Okay. Didn't I ask the question, is this person safe for you? So I find that really interesting because that was a specific question I never asked in these readings. Okay. So I feel like with this person, some of you guys are being called to be open to being a little bit flexible, um, especially if they do have some stuff that they're dealing with. Now, it doesn't mean you don't set boundaries. It doesn't mean you don't do what's right for you. But... Um, Letting go of any old ideas that you may have about either relationships in general, or if you've known this person in the past, letting go of those ideas here. Okay, this, this flexible card really though just talks about being adaptable in all situations, being open to seeing both sides of a scenario. Okay, because sometimes when we get into connection, we only see our side of the situation. We don't necessarily see another person's side. <clears throat> so that might have been an issue here in terms of maybe the communication, okay? Um, but that's what I'm getting for you guys. So I truly hope that this reading was helpful. If you guys want to book your own personal reading, as I said, I am offering the $15 off promo. So that information is down below. And I do have online courses and guided meditations. All right. But I'm sending you absolute love and light. And I wish you all of the best on your journeys. Take care.